Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three three minute rounds with a DC catch weight 130 pounds. Brought to you tonight by Club Omaha Gentlemen's Club, the official after party of tonight's event. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the Twin J Blue Corner. This karate style fighter stands 5'5", five five, weighed in 127.6 pounds. Tonight, she is making her amateur debut, representing Kearney Combat Sports and fighting out of Kearney, Nebraska, by way of Burlington, Ontario, Canada, Megan Weaver. Her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Bed Corner is a mixed martial artist standing 5'8", weighted 131.4 pounds. She holds an amateur record, one win, zero defeats. Representing Premier Combat Center and fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Hannah Mooney. <laughs> Your referee is still Joe Doherty. Megan Weaver in the blue corner, uh, Hannah Mooney in the red corner. Both girls look ready, here we go. Uh, UFC fighter Derek Minner in the uh, corner of Hannah Mooley. Megan open up with some karate style front kick, as you may. And Big hands by Hannah. This is a good side kick by Megan. Megan with a kick of her own. Megan's definitely got the reach advantage, but. Ooh. Big leg kick by Hannah. Megan actually looks pretty comfortable in there for her first fight. Yeah, she got to be careful on the reaching. Yeah. She's been reaching out when she does. Hannah okay. does have a deadly reach. Oof. Through that straight right. Was Definitely a very tall straw weight. Yeah, she is. That's a good low kick by Hannah. Another good low kick. Another one. Ooh, that was a big uppercut. Yeah, that was a big hit. There's another left hook. Megan's got to be careful here. Yeah, Megan's got to. She looks like she was going for a takedown, but it's definitely wrong. Megan's another cut a little right bit. Hand, another big right hand. It's two back to back. Yeah, Megan's got to get off that cage. Or she's got to tie up. She's got to pick one. Woo! Hannah's just landing those punches. Yeah. She's gonna get stopped. This, yeah, she's, she's got to defend gonna herself yeah. intelligently, but see she's what she can do with this leg. This is the first time she kind of got the leg on the on the shot or trying to close the distance. Let's see what she can do with it. Hannah's doing a good job of sprawling out right now, though. Wouldn't be surprised if Megan just falls to her back, pulls her into half guard. Ooh, big elbow by Hannah. They, they almost look a weight class uh, apart yeah. it, it, when they're tied up like this. It's easy for Megan to get lower on the hips of Hannah. Ha Hannah's taking decided. some deep breaths here, though. If if, if 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 Megan can recover, I mean, this isn't. I don't think this is a bad thing to do when she was put in the position she was in. No, it's not. I mean, this is about her only answer that would have affected. For her. sure. Interesting. She gave up the underhook. No, she got it back. Hannah needs to keep digging her right arm under Megan's left, and she needs to circle out to the right of her if she wants to get out of there. Looks like they're kind of just on a stalemate, though. Ten seconds left. Oh, good take Megan down gets her Megan. down, though. Ten See seconds she can left. Hold her down. <laughs> yep, nice. Well, I mean, Megan showed that she has the ability to wrestle, get her down. I mean. She kind of she kind of recovered there, and I think when she wanted to, she she shot her shot, shot her shot, and uh, let's see if she yeah, goes to that round two. Man, we're going to the second round. Brought to you tonight by Club Omaha Gentlemen's Club. The official after party of tonight's event. Make sure you guys go stop out there, 120th and Center. Party and all that, oh yeah. Megan needs to get inside and probably force a takedown because I don't know if she can strike inside for long and be uh, keep composure. But yeah, the whole range thing, which is what karate is great for, 
is really hard when your opponent's way taller than you. It, it is very hard to, to uh, plan for that, especially the, to have to deal with that in your debut fight. So I agree. I'd like to see her close the distance and see go to that wrestling again. That, that might be your best chance, but uh, good first round for Hannah. Yeah, it was a great first round. Here we go, round two. Megan in the uh, blue corner and uh, Hannah in the red corner with the red gloves. Oh, that was a big right hand by Hannah. Megan's got to get inside, man. Megan's Ooh, flinching Hannah at these hand. punches, and it's it's not it's not good. Yeah, she's chasing her right now. Oh, she's she's bleeding pretty bad. Yeah. Megan needs to get out of range. She needs to be back and then come in when she feels like she's gonna go for a takedown. High low, there you go. God, Hannah's doing some damage on her, man. That was a good blitz by Megan, but she's gotta keep going. Yeah, she's showing, she's showing moments of, of toughness and blitzing, but when she gets on the cage here, she's in a bad spot. Yeah, she's gotta circle off the cage, man. This might be it. I think the ref's warning her that she needs to defend herself, otherwise this could be stopped very soon. Yep. I think I think the ref warned her and, and uh, tell the, to defend herself, and when she didn't uh, answer back after five or six. Uh, yeah, five or six unanswered. Unanswered, unanswered, unanswered shots. Yes. Uh, That was a bloody fight, man. I, well, there's blood on the table right now. That was a bloody one. Tough first fight for Megan. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was tough. She took a lot of damage. But, but a very impressive showcase for Hannah. I mean, she used her reach, stuffed the takedowns in the second round, kept the pressure on her. So uh, Hannah advances the 2-0. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Joe Doherty calls a stop to the fight. One minute, seven seconds into the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Hannah Mooney.